That's right, another big controversy in the world of sports, and this time, it's the women's running team at England that made up the offenders in the spotlight. Thanks to a blunder during a 4x400-meter relay race at the 2022 Commonwealth Games, England has lost out on a gold medal. But just what happened here anyway? When did the team learn about this and just who is truly at fault here? You'll learn all the details in today's video, so be sure to stick around until the end. Wait, I walked out of the venue early. Didn't England win this race? Indeed, this is a common story for those in attendance. It actually took a while before the cheeky bit of rule bending was made known. For quite a while there, the whole team and everyone watching believed wholeheartedly that England had just won by a hair. The conclusion of the race was a nail-biting one too, a classic photo finish if there ever was one. It came down to England's Jesse Knight in the neck-and-neck -neck sprint alongside Kara Constantine from Canada. The shot at the very end of the race is honestly a sight to see, and Jesse crosses the finish line with nary an inch to spare. The official verdict was that she won by a thousandth of a second. It nearly made for a huge headline moment all on its own, but sadly the suspenseful finish may have backfired on jolly old Ingerland in the long run. You see, all that reviewing of the footage and toiling over the replays to find out who crossed the line first may have actually been what caused the judges to realize the infraction of the rules that had taken place during the earlier portion of the race. Had the finish been different with a bigger gap between the runners, they may not have double-checked the footage so diligently. But it happened, and eventually it was deemed that England had broken a very key rule in the race that may well have unfairly contributed to their victory. And therefore, it was announced that they had been retroactively disqualified. As such, the gold medal instead went to the runner-up runners, which, if you've been paying literally any attention whatsoever to the story so far, you'd already know happens to be Canada. It might feel hollow, but again, look at that photo finish. She really was just a hair behind beating Jesse anyway. That's actually what makes the infraction seem like a big deal. Because if indeed England got even the slightest bit of an unfair advantage, well, that casts the very, very narrow victory in a very, very different light. Suffice to say, in a fair game, Kyra may well have closed out with a decisive win. So in that respect, Canada should feel free to hold their heads high over their medal. So just what was the foul and who is the perpetrator? Sadly, it would seem that things were doomed from the start, or at least close enough. What occurred is what's known as a lane infraction. You will of course see that on the track is a rigid grid of lines, and the competitors are forbidden from crossing that line. They're numbered so that the racers know which one they're assigned to as well. In a relay race, competitors will wait in a set spot for their teammate to come up, and for a brief period, they will both be running together as the baton is passed. Once the new runner has the baton, they may continue in their place. But at all times, a runner must remain in the lane assigned to them. Keeping up so far? All right, cool. Now in this race, the English team was assigned to lane three. At the end of the first leg of the race we're going over today, Jody Williams was the woman set to pick up the baton for England's team. But as she was in mid stride trying to receive the baton, she ended up veering into the lane to her left. And the evidence is pretty clear that she in fact was running in lane two for a brief period of time. It took a while for this to be spotted, but once it was seen, there was absolutely no going back. As such, England's win was made null and void, and the gold medal ended up slipping tauntingly away from their fingers. Defeat snatched deftly from the jaws of victory. And to be perfectly fair, doing that is a skill in and of itself. Well, when did the team learn about this foul and the ensuing disqualification? It's fair to say that this was entirely by accident, as there's no way the team would wittingly jeopardize themselves like this. Don't get me wrong, cheating is of course rampant in all sports, and you can certainly bet that women's relay races are no exception to that dirty golden rule. But true cheaters do their dirty work in the shadows where nobody can see them. Out there in public in front of the cameras, you follow the lot of the letter because there's just no disputing these things when they arise in a replay. 
With that in mind, it seems like nobody on the England side, not even Jody herself or the woman handing her the baton knew anything was amiss for the longest time. Certainly nobody thought there was any risk of the win being invalidated in any way. If they were concerned about that, they probably would have skipped the big victory lap. Oh yeah, did we mention there was a victory lap? Because yes, England's women's team were so sure that they were taking the gold home that they actually did a victory lap around the track and only after it finished did the officials let them know that they would have to give that medal back. Oh boy, now that is a tough one. ACL tears can take as much as nine months for professional athletes to heal from, but emotional damage like that will last a lifetime. There's pictures of the women smiling so brightly before getting the news. It's honestly pretty sad to see. As we mentioned, many fans reported that they had already left, content with their team's win, only to learn later of the announcement that had been made. A brutal blow indeed. And to think, this all came at the very last event on the very final day of the 2022 Commonwealth Games. Leaves a real bitter taste in your mouth. Well, it does if you're from England, I suppose. If you're Canadian, then I suppose the taste would actually be quite sweet. And the taste probably isn't too bad for the people from Jamaica and Scotland as well, who were retroactively crowned with silver and bronze medals respectively. For everyone else, it probably didn't taste like much at all. Is this kind of thing really worth stripping a gold medal away? Is a little lean that big of a deal? The first and foremost, it goes without saying that this grid rule has a pretty important place in racing. Obviously, it is primarily intended to keep the racers from smashing into one another. Of course, such collisions are impossible to stop entirely, but having a very defined and separate path for the runners in question is a solid deterrent that keeps them from getting dangerously close to one another on a regular basis. However, regardless of whether or not you're anywhere near another racer, staying within the lane is important for the very simple reason that everyone else has to do it. Exceptions can't be made for a situation like this. If Jody had indeed remained in her lane, it may have required her to slow down or make more of a turn that would cut off her momentum in order to get that baton. That is adamantly speculative, and it is hard to prove that they wouldn't have crossed the finish line first without this. After all, we can't check the alternate timeline where this infraction doesn't happen. One day though, one day that technology will be there and don't doubt for a moment that we'd use it for sports rulings. But the rules are what the rules are and they have to be upheld very, very strictly because after all, as this race perfectly illustrates, there can be mere centimeters separating first and second place. And when you have a sport where the conclusion can be that close, that wildly narrow, well, every little thing matters. Every step, every turn, every wave of the baton, anything going awry can cost you everything and any little advantage, even if it's so small that you don't even realize you have it, can make the difference. Ah, but what do I know? I'm just some talking head in a video. I'm not some big uppity rules lawyer. I'd have to be in a comment section to have that title. Speaking of which, that's all the time we have for today's video, which means it's time to throw it in the comment section. Are you upset that the victory was ripped right out of England's hands when they believed for all the world that it was theirs? Are you from a country other than England and therefore not too bothered? Are you from Canada and therefore ecstatic about the whole thing? Did Jody's actions really warrant a DQ in your eyes? Be sure to let us know down in the comments below and until next time, thanks for watching.